Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Welcome back to Loot for One Hour, a series on my channel where I catch one type of Pokemon for one hour and see how much profit could be made. Now, since it's only one a one hour time frame, this is not exactly an exact science. We're here to kind of just see anecdotally and test what you could look for. Now, usually it's a pretty fair idea and gives you a good idea of what a method will actually make. And today we're doing one of the most popular money making methods in Pokemon farming dittos, which has changed drastically over the past two, even not two years, one year over the past year, maybe year and a half. The best ditto farming strategy has changed. I'm not joking, like three or four times, I think it's kind of ridiculous how we're still finding out all this new information in a you know game that should be solved it's a quite old game at this point but things are changing we're getting new regions pokemon is honestly adapting a lot more than people realize and if you want to be the best of the best or even just make the most pokey in or a decent amount of pokey in being on top of those changes is super important pokemon is very much a game about adapting or you will fall behind and to be totally honest, that's something that I myself am not always even good at doing. But anyways, I set up an empty box in the first slot of our PC. Now we're going to head over to the new Ditto spot. That's actually the best way to do it. So we're going to start over here in Signwood City in Johto. We're going to hop on our bike really quick. We're going to go up here to the top left, head inside this cave, head over here, head down this staircase, follow me quite quickly. Here we go. We're going to head in this first little tunnel entrance over to the left. We're going to go down a ladder. We're going to head out and we are going to need surf to be able to actually traverse this water. You need surf and waterfall to actually be able to traverse over to the spot. So apologies for not mentioning it sooner. Now, thankfully, you could actually just teach one of these Vaporeons surf in waterfall if you need access to that. And I'll explain the Vaporeons in a quick sec because they are extremely specific. Now, I will be doing a full guide on how to actually, uh, number one, create these Vaporeons, and number two, the going over a guide of the money-making method itself. This is not really a guide for the money-making method. You could use it as that if you want to, um, but I'm kind of just generally going over things so I can actually get to the loot from one hour. Uh, you are going to need specifically lonely Vaporeons. I recommend two of them. You are going to need these specific EVs. Everything's very, very specific. Um, the attack EVs, I will actually be, I might adjust throughout the making of this video. This loot from one hour is actually a way for me to test what attack ev is messed so stick around for the, till the end of the video to see what attack evs what amount i actually end up sticking with and then you need 31 attack and zero defense you'll maybe see why in the actual guide video uh, you'll need pp matched yawn and paid atms on both your vaporeons and then the last two slots could be any two water moves with water absorbed to help you gain some hp back and they do need to be level 100 with silk scarves but anyways, enough rambling. I'm going to go ahead and actually start the one hour timer and start running back and forth. Now, the cool part about this spot is you can actually passively encounter number one, some really cool shinies and number two, uh, the legendary Pokemon in Johto for that month. If you want to go for your legendary monthly rotation while also going for ditto catches, it's really, really good. So I always go yawn on turn one. You're also going to need net balls for the strategy. Net balls are super, super important here and calculating how many net balls I start this challenge with is going to be super important. So we're going to go for a yawn on turn one payday on turn two with these exact stats we're always going to be able to red bar hp the uh the vaporeon here now if we catch on the netball here we won't have to worry about using it uh, on awakening but netball 103 there we go if we don't catch on the first ball, you do catch on the first ball. It seems like 90% of the time or so. It's something around there. It's like a 90% catch rate. It's pretty high. Um, but if you don't, if he were to yawn me there and put me to sleep, I could go ahead and use an awakening outside of the battle. I don't need to do it in the battle. I can just keep uh, throwing net balls. But there we go. Uh, we caught our first ditto. The hour has started, so I'm going to keep doing encounters. But if you don't know, dittos are a fantastic money-making method because you could always sell a, si a box of dittos. 60 bad IV dittos is going to end up being worth around 220k or so. It depends on the, on the market. I have a video on how to price check ditto boxes. Um, it, it really does depend, um, but selling ditto boxes is, is a fantastically consistent way to make pokey in. And not just selling ditto boxes, but also uh, selling the good IV dittos, the 1 times 31s, the especially the natures if you catch a an, an adamant ditto that also has 31 attack right or a adamant ditto with 31 speed or a jolly ditto with 31 attack or speed these dittos can be worth 25k like, these are like higher end dittos that are going to cost you more than just and we'll go over price checks and stuff at the end and i'll show you guys what kind of dittos i do catch here after the hour but i've got 58 minutes of dittos to catch i'll see you guys then 
Now, I will say the coolest part about this strategy that I definitely didn't forget to mention is that payday. You get the extra pokey in. So watch my pokey in stack up here. I'm over here at 20. I'm at 313k. I noted down that I started at 310k. That'll be important as well to see how much pokey in we end at the end of the challenge. But we can see here, 313. I'm going to go ahead and catch this ditto. And I'm going to get around... 350 or so yeah 350 or so because the ditto is that so it's going to be like 600 or 700 or so right about boom there so that adds up like that little extra little bit of pokey in every single fight if you can get it why not and then also if you encounter encounter a wild pokemon that isn't ditto you can go ahead and payday that pokemon uh whether that's worth or not to do i honestly don't know i have to do a lot more testing to see which is most efficient but i'm gonna be honest whether it's more efficient or not to just run from the battle or payday it's gonna be so minimal that it's you know you guys can kind of do whatever you want have fun right Just keep keep that in mind but I feel like the time loss from the payday animation might be minimal enough compared to the run where it might be worth it, but it's kind of close. It's only a 350 yen or so. Uh, and then you also have to uh, PP max your payday. And make sure if you are paydaying non-ditto spawns, make sure to always leave at least enough payday uh, in, you know, in correlation to your yawn. Um, I have actually killed... I might need to pause the timer. If I have to adjust the attack at EV, I will pause the timer and go like fix that so to not mess with the hour. Um, so you guys have the right, the right amount, but I, I was going to say I've killed, I think two dittos so far on accident. I didn't, I don't think they were from crits. Um, I've killed two dittos just from doing too much damage. So I might actually need to lower my attack EVs, but I'm going to keep an eye on that. Maybe they, maybe they were crits and I missed them. Um, I'm going to keep an eye, just keep testing. Alrighty. I just finished the one hour of catching dittos and I head over to my boxes and Guys, this method is insane. Like, I actually, I actually can't believe it. So, for reference, when I did my Fortress video, like, testing Fortress strat or whatever at the Johto spot and the Hoenn spot, I'm pretty sure I caught around 38 dittos per hour. I don't know what happened here. This is on top of killing dittos, by the way. This method, with this strategy, with these Vaporeons, you do end up just killing some dittos. It just happens. I don't think there's a way to avoid it that I've found, but maybe finding the right attack stat would help that. Um, I was constantly lowering it throughout the hour, and I would pause the timer whenever working on that uh, and i remember to always pause it and restart it at different times so like all the stuff should have been done very very correctly um here we go 108 attack evs is the number that i landed on so hopefully you guys watch the full video before making these aporeons hopefully i made that clear enough in the opening 108 was the best that i found where i was killing the least amount of those i don't know if i killed a ditto with this with this attack set actually so it might be perfect um i can't believe i was able to get 40 what is this 7 47 dittos versus 38 for, compared to the other method, I have I've, this is my first hour ever using the Vaporeon strat versus Fortress and stuff, and that's that's just so many. That's crazy. Like almost ten more dittos an hour is wild. All right, more dittos is cool, but how much more pokey in is it? Let's go ahead and run the math. So out of the forty-seven dittos, it looks like we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, which have at least one times thirty-one. So all of these dittos have a 1 times 31 in one of their IVs, as you can see here, 31 Special Defense. These will go for various prices. Some of these will get boosted by different natures matching with them, for example, as well. And before I just call these other 29 dittos shittos, I do want to actually quickly peruse through each one off camera, and I'll let you guys know if any of these might be worth anything. All right, after sorting through all of the quote-unquote shittos, I did find one ditto that should be worth around 10k. I probably could even go 12 or 13k on it, but I'd rather underestimate than overestimate is my motto. And this ditto is so unbelievably bad, it's kind of impressive. Not worth anything, though. So this leaves me with 38 shittos, which is a little bit over half a ditto box, which is really nice. So it's at least 110k, a bit more. And then nine dittos to go ahead and actually sell and price check out. I am going to go ahead and evaluate the price of these shittos, though. Now, the way that I go ahead and do this, I have my Windows calculator in the bottom left. This is the same exact way you would price check the value of a ditto box or just any you no know, dittos in a box. Uh, I would go search for dittos on the GTL, sort for the lowest price. We're seeing, we're seeing a couple for 4K, but... Well, that one's even got one of the That's kind of funny. Uh, they're realistically being listed for 43, 4,500. Obviously, if some are getting listed just now for 4K, that doesn't mean something's worth 4K. I'm actually buying them to breed up for other eggs later. Um, realistically, dittos are probably worth more than 44, 4,500. They've been going up recently. So, ditto farmers, we need you guys for, for those endgame shunters. So, any ditto farming is appreciated. But the way that I would do this is I would take 4,500 and then I would subtract 500 because what that essentially 
essentially does is it splits the listing fee between both the buyer and the seller so it gives both of us a benefit like if i were to go list that ditto for 4500 pokeon on the gtl the listing fee would hit me i'd only actually make 3500 per ditto right whereas if i go sell to a ditto box uh buyer or whatever right and I sell to him uh, times 60. If I sell him a box for 240K, well, then I'm making 4K per ditto. So he's saving 500 Poke Yen, and I'm also uh, making 500 more Poke Yen per, per ditto. So I make sure to do that. Obviously, it, it depends what the prices of dittos are on the GTL. Um, always double check that to sort of adjust. So if dittos are 4K, you should be doing 3,500 per ditto, et cetera, et cetera. That's my recommendation. Anyways, uh, so we can go ahead and do the 38 dittos. It looks like they're 38. Yep, eight. So we're going to do 38 times uh 4k was our number that's 152k pokeyen now we still have costs to worry about like the number of net balls uh and pokeyen that we gained from actually you know buying that buying those pokemon i actually just deleted all the pokeyen from by uh by buying those dittos oops that's okay i'll check previous clips and see what my pokeyen stack was Nothing gets me more excited than some underpriced dittos, but this was actually the Pokeyen stack that I started the hour with, and I ended with 322k, so I did actually make 12k Pokeyen from the extra payday, which is, like, pretty significant in my opinion. Like, 12, an extra 12k Pokeyen per hour, if you can just do any money-making method and do something to make an extra 12k per hour, that's quite good. That's probably worth doing. That's, that's, that's a significant, you know, after 10 hours, that's over 112k difference. So now I'm at 164k coming in Pokeyen wise, but I still have to actually uh, go calculate all of these guys and we'll also do costs after. I will say this is honestly the only downside to farming dittos right now is that 1 times 31 IV dittos are cheaper than ever. I mean, look at this. These are all the uh, special attack dittos. These are like... I don't even know if I would sell these as as ditto as on the GTL. Like I would actually, I might, man, it, dittos with IVs might be so cheap that it might literally just be worth to just sell them as shittos to potentially make more Pokeyen. Like even if you're selling a ditto with an IV for 5k Pokeyen on the GTL, you're taking the 1k listing fee. So you're actually making less Pokeyen, man, than if you were to just sell to a ditto box buyer for 1k per dit or for, you know, or 4k per ditto profit that's that's pretty harsh however i think there is still one iv that is worth some money on ditto thankfully which is at least the speed iv so if i have any speed ones that's probably worth going ahead and selling those on the gtl like this one right here but honestly these ones i'm just going to calculate at 4k a piece it does make calculations and numbers easier and honestly po uh, pokey and per hour way more consistent with dittos but it's not something you generally want to see. You definitely do want to see uh, those one times 31 dittos have value. So I have one ditto that I would sell for around 7k with the one times 31 speed, and then one that I would sell for 10k. So that's going to be 17k pokey and minus 2k for the listing fee. So we're gonna, we'll do the listing fees. We'll count the listing fees in now. So I'll go ahead and do plus 15k. It would have been plus 2k uh, without considering costs yet, but let's go ahead and break it down cost. So 180k is the expected pokey yen coming in per hour. Let's go ahead and subtract costs. All right, we'll call 180k our base number. Now I started with 105 net balls. Wow. So I used, let's go ahead and just do the math. 105 minus 47. I used 58 net balls per this hour and they cost 1350 a piece. I'm always disappointed at how much Pokeyen. Oh man, dittos per hour make. It is unfortunate. I, I wish, I, I don't know what it is, but dittos do seem to be much worse than they used to be. I think due to that lack of 31 IVs value. Now, if they get two times 31 dittos, it becomes a lot better. And a lot of people, you still want to know the best ditto farming methods because farming dittos on alts is a super common practice if you do want to do rare shunts because rare shiny hunts do need 30,000 dittos acquired on average. But what's nice is that ditto farming is pretty brain dead and it is super hyper consistent. So if you want to make a really quick, calm, consistent Pokeyen per hour, ditto farming is still really nice and you have some really good shiny chances. And it's a good way for like to passively shunt for or just hunt for your legendaries in Johto each month. Now, to be fair, we're calculating our costs. We're at 78k cost. I think that is the bulk of our cost. Since we don't have to worry about listing fees for the rest of these dittos, that is pretty much just our cost. And I don't think I added an extra 4k for each of these dittos. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We are going to go ahead and take that 180k number that we had. We're going to add, uh, we're, we're going to do 4k times 7 plus the 180k. And now we're going to subtract the minus 80k cost. So I think that this is everything we need to keep in mind. So 128,000 Pokemon per hour. Honestly, 
it's not that good. I, I There are better money making methods. Um, it's around the same amount of Poke Yen per hour as Payday, which Payday is just pure Yen and kind of even like going to be more consistent. Man, I mean, it hurts to say this as someone who wants to do rare shunts and that's therefore needs people to go farm dittos for me, but I don't know if I would recommend ditto farming in 2024 at the current time. This does not feel that good. If you want to do this on your alt accounts um, to help fund your own egg shunts, honestly, it's probably a better time than any. We're in this really, really weird position where ditto boxes are kind of not more expensive than ever, but they're pretty expensive with dittos being you know, 4,500 pokey in a piece for that base price, right? Like, dittos are pretty freaking expensive. And then also, it's not that very good to farm dittos for pokey yen per hour. That's, it's not a good combination to have. But that's my honest answer. Tests like this and loop for one hours won't always be a super happy, positive thing. Like, oh yeah, go check out this money-making method. It's amazing right now. Sometimes they are, and sometimes they aren't. Sometimes they're a little disappointing, and that's what this is today. But that's also okay. It's still really important to give you guys that real information, that real outcome, and let you know what to do in current markets. If you're interested in a full ditto farming guide, including more of this strategy, I should have a video out on that by the time this video comes out or it should be out very, very soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. Uh, dislike if you did not. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos every single day. Discord's down below if you're interested in that. And then if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash family donations do go a very long way. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And honestly, in the current market, I'd probably rate ditto farming like a 5 out of 10. Hey, thank you so very much for watching until the very end of the video. That means the world to me. And everyone on this list means even more to me for helping support the channel every single day. Thanks so much.